Okay, this is going to be a simple video on a starter replacement on a 1990 Jeep Wrangler 4.2 liter uh, 6 automatic. From what I could tell, it served well for a long time, but it's tired. It screeches every now and then. Uh, just four completely fails. Get it out of there and get it replaced. Replacing it with a remanufactured unit from a local supplier, uh, battery specialist. Um, a local repair shop that I trust uses only these in uh, replacements for their customers. They're very satisfied with them, so if it's good enough for Jerry and the boys, it's good enough for me. First thing I did was take a lead off the battery. Um, but the next thing I did <clears throat> down on the starter itself. This post right here had two small wires connected to it. I went ahead and got that nut off. And then I pulled those wires up here. Right here. And I ma put masking tape on them so they wouldn't get separated. The next thing to do will be to take uh, this nut right here here off and the electric lead going to that post and that that nut would be this one here so let me get that one off and get that wire out of the way and I'll get back to you got the second nut removed again it would be this top post nut here uh, there was a two electric leads to it. One was from the uh, positive battery. Uh, another was an orange line. I'm not sure where it goes. That that concludes any wiring that leads to the starter from the uh, vehicle. So now the only thing to do is to get underneath there and uh, crack the holding nuts off and get this thing pulled out. While I'm thinking about it, <clears throat> these nuts, this is a half inch here and the little one was a 5 16 Half inch, 5 16 oh. Okay folks, I'll be back with you in a few more minutes. Okay, here's the uh, the failing starter. I thought maybe it was the original, uh, but it is not. It has a barcode on it. Anyway, I thought this was the original starter. It's not. It's uh, got a sticker on it with a barcode where it says remanufactured on it. I don't know what these... Uh, top numbers are no clue anyway this is the replacement don't it look nice and shiny and clean oh it's beautiful so let me get back under there with the air ratchet get this bolted back in and I uh, I'll come back up on top and show you that it's installed and then we'll get these nuts off of here and start hooking the uh, blood trick lines back to it. Real quick, the retaining bolts on this underneath were 9 sixteenths. 9 sixteenths. So the, the only ridges you'll need is a 9 sixteenths uh, socket, half inch socket or wrench, and a 5 sixteenths socket or wrench. Um, and that will do this job fairly simple. All right, folks, I'll get back with you. Okay, this should wrap up this little job. Uh, batteries reconnected. The four leads to the starter are hooked back up, snugged. The only thing left to do really now is start it up. Sounds to me like it works. Oh, 
Okay. Now the starter definitely sounds different than the other one. I'm not talking about the screech, I'm just talking about overall it sounds different. Um, I hope that's normal. I hope, I hope to get uh, plenty of years service out of the starter. Um, anyway, this is a fairly easy do-it-yourself project, guys. And girls, don't forget the ladies. Three inches, as I said. Uh, 5 sixteenths, half inch, 9 sixteenths, or sockets for that matter. So it's an easy project. It's not something you should be afraid to do. Save yourself some money. Do it yourself. Okay. Everybody take care. If this helped someone, that's great. If you were misled in any way, I'm sorry. It was not my intention. And I hope you at least enjoyed the video. Maybe it was worth a few minutes of your time just to watch. Um, if you got a Jeep, particularly an older one, as a very wise mechanic told me, you're going to have to learn how to turn some wrenches or have deep pockets because they like attention and they like to be repaired. I'll see you folks in the next one. Take care.